watching Let's Chat. I was down in Atlanta not long ago, and my granddaughter's 13. She asked me about a word that I had never seen before. And uh, it was in her book, in a, in a school book. And the first thing I started looking for was a dictionary. And she said, Granddaddy, here's the computer. Um, I was ashamed because I didn't know how to do it. Now, if she was to come to me, I know what to do. You know, all that fear and that shame leaves. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that I could get as far as I have gotten until I sat down and I encouraged myself, hey, I can do this. You don't have to stay in the struggle. It is a way out. One of the great success stories that helps make up goodwill, and one of the things we're going to talk about this morning is the Senior Community Service Employment Program. Joining us to talk about that, it is Kimberly Kreider, who is the Director of Senior Community Service. First of all, Kimberly, good to see you. And we have Ms. Carolyn Jenkins, who is the benefactor of the Senior Community Service Employment Program. Ladies, good to see you both. Oh, good, good morning. morning. Thank you. Um, so many times when you hear goodwill, you think about the thrift stores, you think about the donation centers and what you can do to give to them. But goodwill's a whole lot bigger than that. Tell us what the executive synopsis is on the Goodwill mission. Yeah, absolutely. So Goodwill, all the thrift stores actually fund the mission. And the mission really is to walk alongside people to help through the power of work to change their lives. And so we work with people to help them overcome barriers that are preventing them from having um, gainful employment. Like we just saw in that gentleman and that uh, the self-confidence that even that one story inspires is pretty amazing. Tell us how you are trying to help the folks in the community take advantage of what this great program that Goodwill has to offer. I'm trying to help them because at one point in time in my life, I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I took early retirement and it appeared as I applied for different jobs that no one wanted to hire me. And I realized that it was simply because they felt that I didn't have anything to offer anymore. So I feel that my part in the program is to help them realize that they too can change their lives and become a productive member of society again. And those people that didn't think that you had anything to offer, you proved them wrong, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. I knew you did. Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you did. Uh, who is eligible for this job training the Goodwill Office? So um, as long as people live within our six county area, and that's Hamilton, Bradley, uh, McMinn, Meggs, Polk, and Ray County, they have to be at least 55 and older. They have to be unemployed because it's really for individuals that are struggling to get employment and need really support as they try to get back into the community. It is ideal for individuals that may have limited English um, proficiency, that may have been incarcerated before, people that, you know, they have a lot of barriers. And so um, we have individuals that come in that they may not have worked in 20 to 30 years. And so, you know, the thought of them, they want to be maybe an administrative assistant, but their computer skills may not be to today's, right. um, you know, level of what we're using. And so those are the individuals that we really want to have come into CSEP. So um, we work with folks and we try to see if from the financial standpoint um, if, they, if they meet the qualifications. All right, tell me this, Carolyn, what was maybe one of the biggest success stories or the biggest takeaway that you got from going through this program? The biggest takeaway is it made me feel a viable, like a viable member of society. Uh, I've had a, a lot of skills, but being as old as I am, was, um, I didn't have all the computer knowledge that I needed, so I was able to hone in on my computer skills. Mm -hmm. um, I got to meet a lot of people, do things that sitting at home I was not able to do. And I just think that if you open up your heart and your mind, you're surprised at the things that you still can do. Just a little bit of help. I'm very happy that you went through the program, and I'm very happy you're a walking, talking success story about the great things that Goodwill has to offer. How do we get in touch to find out more information? The easiest way is to pick up the phone and call us. 423-629-2501, okay. uh, extension 3130. You can always check out our website at goodwillchat.org. Sounds good. You all keep up the great work, and there's the information on your screen. 
screen. Kimberly, thanks so much for everything that you're doing. And Carolyn, come back and see us anytime. You're both welcome to come back and see us anytime. <laughs> All right, stick around. We have much more of Let's Chat coming up right after this.